Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one-up tutorial, we'll be trying to see how to extract metadata from files, specifically images and audio. So what is metadata? So metadata simply put is data about data, right? Data that provides information about other data. So let's say you have an image, you have a file, you have an audio an MP3 or something. You want to extract data from it. You want to know where the image was taken. You want to know the location of the place it was taken. You can just get all your data from the image itself, right? So let's see how to extract this metadata from a particular file such as images and audio. So there's a powerful package that can be used to do that. So we have as if read, we have as if we have pillow itself, we have now quiet three, and then we have pim deco, right? This is to help us to extract metadata from images. So if you want to extract metadata from audio file, we have tiny tag, we have mutagen, mutagen can be used for audio and video, as well as some images. We have ID3, we have audio metadata, then pim deco. So to install, just go with pim install any of these particular. Let's see how to work with it. So the image you be using is a particular image to be using a normal Python format of open an image to open this particular image to be analyzed. Perfect. So this is the image we're working with. It's a very nice place. And then we want to look at this particular image, get the location to staking, and then server and the kind of device we use to do the, take this particular image. So that is supposed to be trying to analyze. So let's see how to do it. So the first method is to use a normal video that comes with Python. So it's going to go with import video.image image. And let's load our image. So image one is going to be our file that image. Let's open. We're going to open our file. It's going to be our image file that we have one. Then we are just going to open it straight away. So to view all the stuff that we can have, to view this particular image, just go with the name image one. That's the first method. It's going to open it for us. Okay, so this is the image that we have here, right? So that we need to open it for us. So that's one of the method of opening it. So in case you want to also open it in a separate window, instead of opening it here, you can also do that. To open this in a separate video, it's going to be a different format. It's going to be this. Let me show you. Image one dot show, right? So with this particular format, it's going to open this in a separate video. So that is how to open it in a separate video. Now let's see how to see some of the features that come with it. So let's view everything. So it's going to be there our image one. So with this, we can view all the stuff that comes with it, right? Not just the metadata, but all the features and the methods we can do with this, this particular package. Okay, so we can, so we can check all of these things. We can get the size, we can get the byte category, we can convert, we can copy, we can get the channel, we can get the colors, we can get several stuff from this. So there are several things we can do with this particular image that we have so far. So let's try some of them. So I'll just go straight away with mm -hmm. the basic one. So the basic one is going to be our metadata. This is the metadata right, that you are using. Then let's call that image one dot underscore get as if right so we did this get as if we want to get all the information about it right so let's view that so it's going to be meta it's going to list a lot of information so this is going to give us the date the picture was taken then it's going to give us the size the particular phone or device we use and the, the brand the name the model the date it was taken the time specific time it's very very accurate with some of the interesting stuff. It'll give you the height and then the several stuff, right? The particular location of the camera we use, right? So this is the rear mirror, right? That we use. Very interesting. So there are several information you can get with this particular packet. So in case you want to get the height of the image and all of those stuff, you can also do that in this particular stuff. So let's try that one. So let's say you want to get the height of the image, it's going to be image one dot height. So it's going to list the particular height for us, right? So you get want to get the width of it and also do the same thing. So image so it's going to be image width right perfect so this is some interesting stuff you can do with this particular package very interesting very powerful and let's see the next method so the next method is going to be use as if read right so you so install just go to install as if read so let's import it and let's see how to work with it so I've already created a function so you're going to open the same image then you're going to store it as if then process it right? so as if read dot process file then you're going to print the tax to perfect so just like the one we had here that gave us a lot of information about it this one also give us the image model and then the particular device you see that we have a, a Hiomi m h3 a light we have image software and then some interesting information gps altitude reference gps dates some interesting stuff you can also get from this particular package very intuitive and very powerful so there are several tests stuff you can also do okay perfect now let's see 
how to see all these particular features. You can also do the same thing to see all the particular features that is how to start to operate with the tabs. You can see all of these particular features that you have. Very interesting. All right, so we have even items, copy, pop, updates, several of them. All right, very interesting. Now let's see the next method. Since this one is coming like in the format of a dictionary, right? Well, like this looks like a dictionary here. Can be able to use it to get the particular information. So let's copy this one and see how to do that. It's going to be like this particular tag we had. So we had tags, and it's like a dictionary. So we can just go with the normal stuff. Then it's given as a particular model. Very interesting, right? So just like a dictionary, you can just set the particular stuff and then get all the stuff. Now let's see the minus method. So the next method is to use as if as if it's just like as if we but it's quite different. So you're just going to go with pip install as if to install the as if particular package and then you're just going to go with pip, pip as if import image, right? So you're going to import the image, then just like the previous one, I'm just going to open the particular image, then you're going to store it as image 2, image of f, right? The one we have here, then you're going to print it. Like that, right? Perfect. So now we have it as image, so let's see a start that image has to offer. So if I go with DIRF, DIR, not DIR, <laughs> then it's going to list all the particular features you can do with this particular package. So we can have the brightness, value, color, space, compression, date time, date, digitize, date, date, original. You can have get, you can even get the altitude that you're sticking, the date, GPS, the date time, GPS time. Very interesting. You can even get a mic, a model. Very interesting stuff you can get from this particular image. So let's try an example. So let's see the, to get the altitude. So it's going to be our image to dot get the particular altitude that you have, right? So let's see what we GPS. Then we have our altitude. So it's going to give me the particular altitude that's just taking wow 2.2. And again, you can also get the model that you want. So it's going to be image two dot the model. So it's going to be model. Then the model of the camera. So this is the particular phone that I use, right? The phone anyway. Then if I, if I want to do the particular time I took this image, it's going to be image dot date time. We have the time, date time, date time, date time original. So this is the particular time it was taking. Then if I want to be more specific, I can also do the date time digitize. So let's try that one here. Right, so we have date time digitize. Then it's going to list similar to the previous one. So that is some interesting stuff you can also do with that. Now in case you want to get the make of the phone, that's to the particular image, right? To so that anytime you are taking a photo with selfie or any stuff, it is taking a lot of details, right? <laughs> so image two dot make going to tell me the particular make of the phone, which is here. So now you know the kind of phone I used to take this particular image. Very interesting and very very informative. Now let's see the next method. So the next method is use hardwire, right? So just go store it with pip install hardwire. Then this is how it's going to be. So from hardcore.parser import create parser. Then from hardcore.metadata import extract metadata. Perfect. So now let's see how to work this. So this is how to do a quick hardcore. So it's going to be parser, right? You're going to create a parser and you want to pass in a particular image. So let's see the same image we have. We are going to be using a different image altogether. Let's use the same image we have. The image above that we have been using so far. To pass in the metadata. It's going to process it now. If I go with metadata, it's going to list all the stuff for me. Right, very, very interesting. A very nice format. So, this is just a generator. So, to you to get all the details, you have to use a for loop to do that. So, it's going to be this one. So, this is going to be the generator. Then, for line in metadata, it's put as plain test. Then, you're going to print it directly out. So, this is the image with the height, just as we had here, the this side, the creation dates. The camera, particular focal, that is the altitude, the exposure, brightness, model, <laughs> very interesting, right? The particular format of image, the time size, the a lot of information that you can get from this one particular image, right? For this particular tool, very interesting. And let's see the next method. So the next method is to use the PIM deco, right? So PIM deco just go with the same format form. So from PIM deco import services, then you create a particular service, so file metadata service, then you load your particular image right so whether it is mp3 whether it is a particular format so whether it's an image or something like that right so let's see whether it's going to work let's see whether i've actually stored it so we have this that is how to do that so you're just going to go with this particular format and then you'll be able to get it in the format of a json right so now let's move on to the next method because we have done so much 
So now let's see how to work with audio files. So to work with audio files is very interesting. So the first method is that you're going to use tiny tag. Tiny tag tag is very very powerful. So let's see how to do it. So we're just going to pick install tiny tag to install it. Then let's load our tiny tag from tiny tag. Then let's load our audio. So this is extracting the data from audio files, right? So to extract data from the from audio files, you can just go with this particular format of our particular file that we have. So let's go as tag, right? So let's call it as a tag, right? For audio tag, a tag, right? Then let's pass it to so the tiny tag dot get. So the get is going to load the particular image, the particular audio that you're working with. So let's use this audio file, a very nice one. This is the image, we, the audio that we are working with. Now we have it there. So in case I want to get all the details from this particular stuff, just go with my A tag. Then it's going to list all the files. So the file size, very interesting. The album, the ultimate collection, the gospel, the album title, very interesting. So in case I want to get the, this is a like a dictionary, right? So in case I want to get this particular data, details from it, I just go with A tag dot album artist. Right, so album artist, I can be able to get Domwe. So Domwe is the one that sang the song. If I want to get the channel, I can also do the same thing. So it's going to be our A tag or tag. So A tag dot channel. So whether it is mono or stereo, stereo <laughs> too, right? Very interesting. So it gives you a lot of information you can even do. In case I want to get the duration or the general or something else, I can actually use the same thing. So A tag dot perfect worship and praise very interesting so it's able to extract a lot of details from this particular song that we have nice now let's see how to use another odd particular method so the next method is to use audio metadata so we're just going to create import, import audio metadata and audio metadata also is very useful it gives a lot of information so it's going to be load you're going to load our particular stuff to let's call it as a data to right let's call it metadata to let's call it metadata to any name then audio metadata dot load so we're going to load our particular file so the file that we are working with is the same from my song so i will sing or any other song then if i run it now it has load so in case i want to see the information i just go with the metadata to the, the variable that is still inside okay. so it's going to list a lot of them the location the size of it the picture frame by frame description if they have a description the height the new time it gives a lot of information you can have the channel mode duration channels duration layer protection several information even the location of the place i got it from <laughs> as a price it is exactly where i got the image the audio from so you can get a lot of information from this okay even the title of the song the integrity you know the dates to produce the composer the artist the album artist very interesting information you can get from metadata it's like like, like additional so you can just operate it like that now let's move on to the next package, which is going to be method 3 using metagen. Metagen is very, very powerful. It has a lot of features. You just go with pip install metagen. In case you're also a Linux, you can just go with this particular option. New system. So you import metagen, then you're going to load our information with the particular data that you want to work with. It's going to be our audio file that you want to work with. Right? And then we just go with mutagen. Mutagen, right? Like mutant. Mutagen. That's file. So it has several formats, right? You can just go with mutagen file to actually detect the particular file and then to work on it first. So let's see. I have this. I have a song right that you are using. Perfect. Then I can just check it with this format. Because I want to check for all the features of it, I just do the normal DIR to get all the features. The DIR of this um, meta data 3. Perfect. So it's giving us like all these things that you can use. These are all the features can you can just get the print, the tags, the updates, the file name, get information, and all of these things. Very informative. Now let's try to see the file name. So to get the file name, just going to go with our meta beta three dot file name. So if it's going to list the file name for us, in case I want to get all the details, I just go with meta data. Right. So if I go with meta data three, it's going to list all the information for us. This take some time depending upon the kind of file that we have right, so you see that it's giving us all this information very intuitive so in case i wanted a better way 
instead of giving it like that, I can just go with the pretty print, right? PP, which is this format, right? So let's see how to do that. So meta data three dot pp okay, so this is going to give us the better format, right? Not that bad, but it's it's totally different from this one. This format is different, right? So this is going to give us another format, and then this one also give us another format. Now let's move on to another package you can also use. Which is going to be the last. So now let's see the next method. The next method is going to be using ID3. So, to, so I just go with pip install ID3. Then pip install this particular package, right? Especially here on Windows to help you see the function. So let's load it. It's going to be import ID3. Now let's see how to work it. So we're going to load our file. Very simple way of loading our file. So let's call it as our audio 2, right? Our audio file 2. And then Go with ID3. So ID3 comes as also a command line version, so you can also use it as a command line version. Load, then I'm going to pass in a particular file. So let's give it a different file. So see if I can That's uh, the first one we have doing. Now you can be able to check all the features that it has to offer. So audio 2, then I'm going to list all of them for us. So there are several things you can also do, and just get a tag to get a lot of tag. So to get all the tag info, just go with our audio 2.tag. Then this is how it's going to be, right? So with this particular format, you can be able to go deeper and then get more features, right? So let's see how to do that. So let's go in there now. And now you can see all the features it also have. Very interesting. Just only the tag, right? So you can just get the image, the lyrics, the objects, private, all of these interesting stuff. The album name, album title, artist URL. So let's try and get the artist URL. So it's going to be the audio to the tag dot artist. So it's going to list the artist which is Tom Way. Very interesting. In the case I want to get for the album, so let's call it as album. That's going to list the album for me. Very interesting. So there are a lot of things you can also do in this particular So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, I just put it in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.